Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Really happy to break down Pearl Jam Alive. Love the song, love the band. Uh, also, I have free courses for you at my site when you sign my newsletter at martymusic.com. Link is in the first comment. Thanks for that, you guys. Anyway, let's rock. All right, we're gonna do a slide into an A power chord. So we're sliding from the 17th fret. And then down, up, down on that A power chord. And that carries us right into the next part, which is a real interesting little part. We're gonna slide with our ring finger from four to seven on the A string, immediately followed by the open D. But then that open D is immediately hammered on the seventh fret with the index finger. And then the ring finger goes up to the ninth fret on that same D string. And then we release it and are playing the seventh of the D. So from the top. And that da, ba, ba, da, again. Now the open D and G that's a G power chord. The, the two notes make up a G power chord. So that's kind of what we're doing with that. Is almost like but nah, but right? So from the top. Same thing here, but now we're going to do a half step bend on the ninth fret and back, pulled off to the seven. And then the D and the G open. Put it all together. So when we go to that, you go back to seven, then to the nine, then the half step bend. So. Then we need to go to an F to a C, and Stone Gossard, who's playing that part, plays an F bar chord right here, across, barred across the eighth fret, and to a C chord, which you could play that shape, or. Mike McCready's playing F to C right here. Now with the verse, it's a much more mellow version. Stone Gossard is playing a much more mellow version of that part. Thank you. 
So something I did there, and I want you to listen to the record for it. Uh, on the verses, it'll just alternate, not on the bendy one, but on the other one. Instead of that, and it's just like one per verse, I think. It just goes up to the seventh fret of the G. So just notice that, because if you played the main riff the whole time, you're fine, but there is there is a little variation there. Then we've got uh, what Mike McCready's playing over the main riff, and you know when it kicks in, he's playing an A major chord. You play it Hendrix style. But you got the full bar chord. You got that Hendrix style. And you're adding the sus4, which is the seventh fret of the G with your pinky. Okay, so next we go at F to C, but then F to C again into the chorus. And so I'm going to show you Mike McCready's part first because he's playing the main chords of the chorus. It's E, E, G, D, A. Now, if you muted the thirds, meaning the G, you get that. You can play the G power chord where you're muting the A, muting the high E if you want, and then the A power chord. You can do it in power chord style as well. Now, Stone Gossard's playing one of my favorite parts in the song over that, and I'm going to show you that right now. E bar chord here. So I'm barring across the seventh fret, ninth fret right there. Then the C voicing of a G chord. Like the caged system, per se. So it's just like a C chord. C, D, E, F, G. So ring fingers on the tenth of the A string, which is a G note, the root of the chord. And then we're kind of sliding up a whole step and back really to emphasize the D and G. So you got E, G, E, G. Now I'm, it's a D chord. If you look at that D chord, that's what we're doing, but we're just grabbing the upper structure, which is the seventh fret, the D, G, B. And then we're going to do this little cool, my favorite part, the cool little scale run thing, counterpoint kind of thing. So just to show you kind of what's going on, we're going to do a sus4 here, which is the eighth fret of the B with the middle finger. So it it's on and off, and then immediately to the 10 of the B. Then down the scale, which would be on the B, 10, 8, 7. Then we're grabbing the ninth of the G. And 
and we have a da da da, and so that's the sixth of the G. And then nine of the D to seven of the D. So six, nine, seven. So E, G to side of D, B to B, D, D, B, D, B, D. And so just to show you how those go together, I'm going to play the rhythm, the Mike McCready rhythm, and then the Stone Gossard part over it with my Marty Music Looper, what? So we've got a B power chord, which is. And we're going to be using it later for the bridge, but this time it's a short version. And it's the 12 with your pinky on the B, 11 on the G with your ring. And then that root right there on the 9 of the D. Middle finger is just kind of buffering the other strings, but if, for later on, it's going to go up and grab the 11 of the E string there while you hold that. But we're not there yet, so we we did the chorus. Now we're back into the verse and chorus again. Nothing new, just remember there is that little variation. You know, keep that in mind. Then we've got. All the way through. So the new, the, uh, what, what ends up happening is we go to what we call the bridge. And so think of this. And then it's to this, see it's B, then middle finger with it on the 11. And we're just grabbing that nine of the E into that bar chord, which we can call F sharp major. And really, the bass is what's predominant on those notes. So, we get to the bridge, A7, ring is on that second of the B, and we go, and then just grab this little piece of a D chord, but I'm going, so it's the second on the G, third on the B, I'm using those fingers. Then again, but middle finger moves over to the second of the G for, and you're hitting the G, B, and E. whole step up. So we're going to do the same thing a whole step up. You 
just have to look at it like your index finger is a capo now. And you got these fingers. <laughs> into the chorus, and this time you don't have to do the fancy stuff, you just dig in. You can do that. That way you're digging in a bit more for the soloing. And those are all the parts that will get you through the song other than the solo. So request below if you'd like to see me do a whole tutorial on that solo. And uh, good luck out there. All right, there it was. Hope you had a great time learning the song. Also, you can leave requests in the comments below, anything you'd like to see or learn. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking and subscribing to Marty Music. Thanks again. We'll see you later.